needs to be there i cannot help you like what is the problem in the comments like i cannot answer it because it's really simple What's happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to a new OBS tutorial. It is 5.30, which means the last tutorial of today. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a donation alert. Because the first video of today, two hours ago, I uploaded the video how to get the follower alert. So if you want to see that first, check out the description. The link is in there. You can, you know, watch that video first. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a donation alert to your stream. So let's say if someone donates, you will get a notification anytime. Well, like a nice alert in the screen. You can do everything you want with it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that. So make sure to stay tuned and everything is coming up so I would say let's jump straight into the video okay so as you guys can see we're on OBS and the first thing that you need to do is you need to install CLR browser I also showed you guys that in the last tutorial so I'm going to include that clip of the previous video in here so, you, so I can show you guys how to install the CLR browser so I don't need to do that again enjoy this clip of how to, how to install the plugin if you did everything we will go ahead on that so I will see you guys when the clip is done and then we're gonna get started all right guys so as you guys can see we are on OBS and the first thing that you want to do is you want to install a plugin and that plugin is called CLR browser it sounds like really difficult like dude how am I supposed to do this and how do and you know this and that it is really simple guys it sounds complicated that you need to install a lot of things and it's like gonna be really difficult it's not so I'm going to go to Google first and you guys need to do that as well so I would say let's let's go to Google with me all right so as you guys can see I'm on Google right now and what you want to do is you want to do, you can do this with me like you can put my video on a second monitor and do, you know do it with me so what you want to do is you want to google clr browser and then you want to pick this one the top one that says OB obsproject.com forward slash blah 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 you want to pick this one it looks like really complicated like i understand like it is not guys you just want to click on updates you want to pick at the top one so this depends on what kind of system you have do you have a 32 bit you can pick this one you can pick a, if you have a 64 bit pick this one to actually see what you know what type you have it's really simple you just want to you just want to go to the start menu and you want to type in sys until it says system and as you guys can see a list pops up of my pc specs and as you guys can see it's all in dutch but as you can see it says x64 so i need to pick 64 bit as you can see this you know clr browser plugin opens up you just want to click on save not open with you want to click on save and then it is downloading and then you want to go to your downloads as you guys can see this is my downloads page and i'm going to um right click you want to click on open file location you want to click on extract files and then you want to pick a full I just made a separate one on my desktop that I call that CLR so as you guys can see I'm going to pick this one click on ok now it's extracting because I would say I'll make a separate folder for this now that it is extracted I'm going to go to my desktop and as you guys can see this is the folder the CLR browser folder that I made so this is everything I extracted as you can see so now that we have this folder open everything is extracted you want to put this one in the OBS folder so what you want to do is you want to go to start you want to click on PC you want to go to your C drive you want to click on program files it depends on where you have OBS installed you might uh, like switch between this one like those two program files and program files x86 it depends on where you have installed you it doesn't matter you just need to find Find out which one of the folders it is now i'm going to double click and i'm going to find obs in this list which is this one boom and as you guys can see this is the entire map you get when you install obs so what you want to do is you want to go to plugins and then we're going to go to the you know uh the seal error you know folder that we have extracted everything in it i popped up the folder and as you guys can see this is the extracted uh stuff what you want to do it's really simple guys you just want to take those two and drag it in this folder and as you guys can see boom everything is installed so now what you want to do is you want to go back to obs so now that we are on obs you want to restart it so as you can see i'm going to close this out and restart obs give me a second 12 seconds later okay so i restarted uh, obs and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on a random scene click on preview stream and what you want to do now is you want to right click you want to click on add and then you want to pick CLR browser. Boom, it's that simple. As you guys can see, there's opens up like this window, as you can see right here. And as you can see that it says like URL, it's really simple though. Okay guys, so now that you guys have seen how to install the CLR browser, there are a few things that you need to do. So I'm going to click on preview stream and you click want to click on sources, right click add, and you want to make sure that the CLR browser is there. If it's not there, 
close OBS, re rewind this video and just do everything again. I cannot help you like what is the problem in the comments like I cannot answer it because it's really simple. If the CLI browser is not there, close OBS, do all the steps again, download it, you know, put it in the folder as you guys saw an OBS folder. Do it again until it works. Make sure you have that CLI browser in your um, sources tab. So what you want to do first is you want to go to Google and you want to type in not follower alert or donation alert. You want to type in tip alert. So I'm going to click on this one. You need, you need to click on this one, night dev, this one. It takes you to this page, as you can see, and you want to click on install. It offers you the CLI browser, but now that we, we have done everything like already, so I'm just going to click, you don't want to click on this, you just click on, you click on next. And right here, you can set everything how you want it. So as you guys can see, you need the client ID token. And what that is, you need a stream tip account to, in order to receive donations in. Just open up another tab and go to Google. You want to type in stream tip. And you want to click on this one, streamtip.com, as you guys can see right here. And you want to click on get started. And you just want to, as you can see, do, uh, like link it with Twitch. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on this button, allow access. Now that you guys have your stream tip account, it's really simple. So we're going to go back to the, you know, the tip, tip alert tab and you we're gonna start off with the first thing which is called a client id so i'm going to ba go back to stream tip and you want to go to at the at, at the right it says your name my face cam is over it but at the right it says your name click on it then you want to click on accounts and as you guys can see this information I'm, i have to blur that because it's i cannot it's i'm not i'm not allowed to share that with anyone you are not allowed you to share your info with anyone so as you guys can see in this tab i need the client id so that is this one api client id i'm going to Control C, Control V that in here. Second one is the access token. That's also really simple. That is just underneath it, as you can see right here. You wanna also copy that, Control C, Control V. So I'm going to paste that in here. Then you want to click the end, the minimum amount someone can donate. So you can put it like one cent, 25 cents. I'll always, I'll just keep this on 50 cents. And the maximum amount is a thousand because I recently received a donation of $200. So I just said like, okay, screw it. I'm going to put a limit on thousand dollars. And then you can actually here, you can choose your, what kind of, how it's going to look. You can choose this one. You can choose that one, this one. So you can also change the color. Uh, don't worry, you can uh, make it all the colors you like. Or you can load in a custom one. So what you want to do is you want to click on alert style, alert style, and you want to click on use my own text center. So as you guys can see, it pops up like this little box. You click on browse. You want to find your donation picture in this that you made. So I'm going to look for it and I'm going to load that in. And as you guys can see, you have a new donation. I just made this picture in uh, in um, Photoshop. The dimensions are 580 by 110. And as you guys can see, this is how, this is going how, this is how it's going to look. And then the sound, you can also add in a sound. Make sure that the sound is .ogg, not mp3, .ogg, then it will recognize it. I'm not going to do that because like my tune is copyrighted on YouTube, so I'm not going to do that. Then what to do is really simple. When you've done everything, you click on next, and then it's going to is generating a code and what you want to do then is you want to just copy that code and you want to go to back to OBS then what you want to do is click on sources right click add CLI browser I'm going to call this the donation alert okay and right here the URL you want to paste everything in that you just copy like this boom and the dimensions are like I said 580 by 110 so that is basically what you want to do and then as you can see when you click on OK and then click on edit scene and as you guys can see this is your donation alert like it's those are this is the box and to preview it like I want to see how it, how it looks first and how it sounds double click on it you're going to at the end of the URL and you want to type in you know and preview is true and then I'm going to click on OK and as you guys can see right now it pops up and this is how it's going to look this is how you know it's going to look when someone donates um, like the $100 from test user that's just a test so anytime you uncheck it it's going to play back the sound it, it's it's a bit you know annoying that if you change scenes live that this is going to play when you have everything if you have the preview still on so to, to remove the preview uh, that it's just it, that is not going to pop up but it still works you just want to go back to the URL and remove everything uh, from you know at center everything after that you want to make sure that you just have center and you want to click on ok and as you guys can see there is nothing popping up that is how you install a donation alert that is how simple it is uh, there's nothing more to tell you guys now you can just go ahead and you know set everything set everything up and just you know Get, uh, receive donations that is basically how it is guys there's nothing more to tell you that is how simple it is guys that is how you make a donation alert so anytime someone donates you get that donation alert that is how simple it is guys i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support i will see you guys tomorrow for two epic soon vegas tutorials as always thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow so until then i will see you guys very soon
We're gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers. My name's LTHH Official, as yeah. always. Yeah. And I upload one video every day of the week, except on Saturday and Sunday. I'm just gonna start streaming live. First question for today. So that's gonna be through this hall, it's gonna be pretty dark. So we have the door. Future your comment or your question. And I'll see you guys in the next video.